What's up guys, uh, Riley here, Hudson Motors. Right now I'm waiting on a new truck that we just bought, 1972 Ford F100 4x4 that's on a 7.3 chassis. Bought it, saw it online, and uh, it's coming in today, so we're stoked about that. Do a full walk around and show you guys that. That might be a future giveaway truck, maybe not. My dad drove a 72 when he was in high school and loves them and has always kind of wanted another 72. So he might have to buy this off me, but if he doesn't want it, we're gonna probably give this away later in the future. So we'll do a quick walk around on that, show you all that good stuff that's on that bad boy when it shows up. But yeah, also in this video, show you our SEMA cruise and some of our prep for SEMA this year. Um, after this, after the show, we took out a group of uh, European journalists for a cruise around Red Rock and all of our trucks, and that was a lot of fun. You also see some progress on our uh, Jeep Comanche right here. Uh, this is our next giveaway truck after the Suburban. Here's the Suburban right there. But after the Suburban, we're doing the Comanche giveaway, and so you'll see some progress on that. Doing the doing the uh, the long arm, rebuilding the engine, all that kind of good stuff. So we'll show you some of that. And there's a lot of other goodies as we're working around doing axle swaps on our Wagoneer and all sorts of other good stuff. So let's hop into this video. And uh, first things first, uh, we'll show you this '72 when it shows up. Look at that thing. How you doing? Let's go for a drive. Man, it feels like driving a freaking 7.3, just like... Wow, she needs a, we need some brakes bled. That's okay. She loosey goosey. We'll figure it out. <laughs> it's kind of funny though that it does drive so good. It uh, it's funny because you know we gave away that '97 crew cab short bed uh, last year, and uh, you know drive something like this, same engine, same transmission, but way smaller and way lighter. It's kind of hysterical because it actually kind of does get up and boogie under its own power pretty dang well. So that is funny. Man, it's like drive, but it really is just like driving 97. Brakes are the same, pedals the same, steering is the exact same. Like, um, yeah, it's pretty hilarious. And it builds boost well. And <laughs> it's kind of funny. I don't know I would do anything, but maybe intercool it. We'll see. Let's see. I like it. Get this baby worked out. Sounds stinking good. Fan clutch is stuck on. You hear that fan clutch? Fan clutch is stuck, so we'll get a new fan clutch in there and call it good. But man, it's funny. It's cool. We're gonna, oh, this is a new dash. Oh, it's a whole new dash? That's okay. Let's go. I think we're gonna do some, I think we're gonna have some fun upholstery work with this guy. I think we're gonna spend a little bit of extra cash on this and, oh, yeah. and do some upholstery, some upholstery loving. Today is the third day of the Suburban giveaway. It started on Monday and uh, for the first time ever, as a business, we did a cash in every order promotion just for the opening day. You guys, those who participated, apparently really loved it because it was like a record breaking day for us. Uh, it was awesome. So we're just giving out cash in every order and it's kind of fun as we just kind of go through and grab some money and toss them in and free and just start doing it. So like, we're this is literally all we're doing. It's just like Mr. David bought a foam cannon and a t-shirt and David's gonna get two bucks. And uh, Kevin here, he's gonna get a fiver. And uh, Richard, we're gonna give Richard 10 bucks. And then uh, what do we got here? Angel, he bought a t-shirt, another t-shirt, and another t-shirt. Uh, we've just got our big stack and this is literally all we're doing, but friggin' he's getting a 20, so. And then we've got in our big stack, we've got a bunch of ones mixed in there, fives, tens, twenties, hundred, fifties, and a couple, and there's three hundreds that we're just freaking tossing them out. So it's been a lot of fun and we love doing it. So I think we're gonna keep doing it later, but it's it's kind of awesome just to just start throwing cash in. And we, and we, we, but we picked a winner. We did a $500 grand prize. We did that through random.org and we Venmoed the guys. You know, I don't wanna send 500 bucks in the mail, but we sent him his 500 bucks and uh, he was pumped. So we did that first things first. That way everyone got the chance to win the $500. He has 500 bucks and all these orders still get entries into win the suburban too which is cool so you know they're getting their stuff they're getting the shirts they want they're getting a little bit of cash back and they still get entries into win the suburban so it's like a freaking triple win in my opinion all right here she is let's go over show you all the goodies so 
1972 F100, sitting on a 1996 F250 chassis. So really cool truck, long bed. Um, has a 71 grill in it now, but it's a 72, but the grill's all busted up. So the truck's very cool. And like you saw previously, it runs really, really, really good. And the body's in good shape. It just is, the paint's just a little crappy, but we can fix that. But the truck runs and drives excellently. Steers great, just needs a little bit of brake loving, but we can fix that up. Maybe do some hydro boost or something like that. But, but the truck is very cool nonetheless. But let's show you some of the good and some of the bad here. Grill's pretty hammered. Might have to get a new grill. Maybe we can stick with our grill shell and just get new bezels and new grill inserts and polish up the old grill shell. She's pretty hammered. Lenses are all there. Front bumpers kind of, you know, kind of mangled here kind of mangled there, but it's not terrible. Paint, you guys, you can see kind of up around this front end is pretty kind of chipped up and beat up. Looks like they tried to seam seal this body line on the hood. and It looks like crap. They're missing the forward letters on the front. But regardless, this is still right now, it's a 10 footer. If you drove this around, people would be just mind blown just seeing it driving around. But M's are all there. They're just kind of old and faded. So I'm gonna work with uh, my friends at Rad Machining to do some cool Ford emblems here. So they'll still say Ford and have it say 7.3 down the spear. So that'd be cool. Our spear trim also is just hammered. This side's not as bad. The passenger side is just absolutely hammered. So we're gonna probably get new spear trim. Our lower trim is in decent shape. It's not in that bad of shape, but we are missing the fender well trim. So maybe we'll get the fender well trim to complete the whole racetrack trim look, but the lower trim's okay. We could touch that up, clean that up and repaint the black inserts and then maybe get new upper trim. It's got these uh, tow mirrors, but I believe these are incorrect for this truck as they are kind of angle upwards. So we'll get some correct mirrors for it. Those might be dent side mirrors and not bump side mirrors. We'll get some correct mirrors. Got some pretty, you know, what, what do we call this? You know, metal militia style wheels. Not my favorite, not very classic looking, but we'll probably replace those either something military looking or something classic, maybe some steelies be cool on this thing. We got our sport custom emblems. We can pull these off for sure. Clean these up, make these look real nice and brand new again, because those could turn out pretty nice. All of our lights and bezels are there, but they're kind of hammered as well. Our tailgate is missing all of the trim, so we'll trim out the tailgate again. Rear bumper's in good shape. This is actually the OBS bumper uh, that this truck would have came with, and I think the bumper's pretty cool. So I think we'll leave the OBS bumper, but you can see we're real tight there, and then, you know, bigger gap there, and again, real tight hitting the trim back here. So we need to do some refitting of that bumper, maybe just get in here and trim this up a little bit, just to give us a little bit extra clearance on both sides. But for the most part, you know, the bumper looks pretty cool. I actually like it. I like the OBS bumper. I think it's a good looking rear bumper on this truck. Bed's not in terrible shape. A little, you know, I could use a bed liner, spray in, sand that down and spray in some bed liner. We'll add that to the list. But the bed's really straight. You can see the body's really straight. Like it looks pretty dang good. So just with some paint loving, you get to, you're getting a little flash rust down in this body line here. So we'll take this down to our painter and have him grind that out and repaint just maybe inside the body line. But truck is great and rad. You see that the steps are down right now. They don't have the doors. They don't have the amp steps wired to a door switches. They're just to a toggle switch. So we're going to fix that, become a pro at these dang, dang these dang uh, amp switches. They always, they're always giving you a hard time. But again, the truck's pretty freaking cool. Just needs some really some pretty easy work. This is light work. This kind of stuff is really pretty easy. Go in the inside and show you this. Inside the truck here is what some people might hate, some people might like. I'm indifferent to it, but it is the OBS interior. And I thought when I first bought this truck, I was thinking, okay, well, let's pull this OBS dash out and let's, uh, you know, the dash is there. It's all in good shape, no cracks, but let's pull this OBS dash out and let's put the correct dash back in. But then I got to think about it. This thing has air conditioning and it works. This thing has factory crews and it works. The gauges all work. And it's like, hmm, it might not be worthwhile to pull this, this gauge out and lose that kind of stuff. Cause the factory AC in this is way better than like a vintage air system or a retro mod air, a retrofit air system, anything like that. It, they, they work really good. So rather than do that, we're gonna leave the dash. And what we're gonna do in here is we're gonna give this thing the best interior we've ever done on a giveaway truck. So we're going to wrap the entirety of the interior in leather. So we'll do like a nice dark brown headliner with like a light brown to match this color, a light brown wrap on all the B pillar, A pillar trim, and then a dark brown headliner and paint up our headliner support pieces. We'll wrap the seats in like dark brown with like light brown inserts and make these look really cool and make them match the truck. And then probably restitch the steering wheel as well 
uh, in that same dark brown just to really set this thing off and make it look like a million bucks. Get some new XLT trim, maybe some new vents as this little guy's busted. This little guy's all faded and nasty. So we'll clean this interior up, make it look great, and then keep our door panels. They're, they're factory door panels, but we're gonna tear these off and remake these and probably save the trim piece, but make these look way, way, way better than they look right now because they kind of look like crap. So we'll make the door panels again to match maybe do our door panels in in you know some black arm pads and then a, a brown a two-tone brown on brown door panel to match but you know i don't hate that the interior is modernized um i don't love it either but it's cool and it works so this truck when we give it away is going to make a great daily for somebody because you really could just drive it every day and be cool door shut really good though and that wasn't even a hard slam but here you can see that this trim is just hammered just absolutely hammered so yeah we're gonna have to do something about that let's pop open the hood and see what that looks like all right with the hood open you can see a factory 7.3 this thing is unmolested completely factory you know it's kind of cool that they shoved us and they were able to stuff in here a 7.3 it the swap is done pretty good it runs and drives excellently and that's pretty freaking great there's some things that are kind of mickey mouse in here like these homemade hood hinges but i see why they did it it's really hard to come up with a hood hinge for something like this and and uh you know they needed all the clearance they could get to stuff this thing under here but it's okay it's not the worst thing and it's not the best thing i've ever seen but it works and we're gonna just leave it alone as is because it, it's it's pretty good we are probably gonna do an intercooler and maybe do some upgraded injectors and a new turbo something like that just to make this thing make make a little bit more power we'll see if it's in the budget for the build but honestly right now the thing moves pretty stinking good so i really don't think it needs any power mods we'll drive it a little bit more and if we think it needs more power, we'll get more power, but I think we could leave it just as is. But there's some more Mickey Mouse stuff in here, a little pool noodle shoved between the, the radiator and the AC condenser so that, you know, you get good cold air flowing across your AC. You know, stuff like that that's kind of funny. You think, okay, that wasn't that necessary. You obviously could get a new AC condenser and just bolt it to your to your radiator. I, I It's okay. The, some of this stuff we can clean up. It's not the end of the world. We could fix it. Um, but, you know, it works. And it's honestly pretty tidy. It's not a mess of wires in here, which was I was nervous about, but it looks pretty dang good. So, you know, I don't hate it. We might have enough room for an intercooler. We might not. We might be too tight. And if we're too tight for an intercooler, it'll just have to be okay as is. These 7.3s never came intercooled, so... It's not the end of the world if they're not, but still pretty cool that there's a 7.3 shoved underneath there with all its modern components. And I say modern from the 90s, but they work. All right, with that, that's pretty much it for that. That's the plans we have for it. It's a cool truck. It really does drive good. If it didn't drive so good, you know, it'd be kind of a, it'd be kind of disheartening to have something that needs this much cosmetic work, but it really drives really freaking good. So if somebody just wanted this as a work truck, it would serve as an awesome work truck just right now, just as is. So it's pretty stinking cool. I like it and I want to drive it for the next couple weeks before, like while we're still doing the Suburban giveaway and the Comanche giveaway, take a couple weeks and just drive this bad boy to and from work. Cause it's pretty freaking cool. And it's fun to drive a diesel, have some boost. So uh, with that being said, that's it for the walk around on this. Stay tuned in this video to see more info on the Comanche that we got over there. See stuff on the Suburban, see stuff for, from our SEMA and our SEMA prep and our Milestar booth and all that kind of stuff. So stick around, watch all that and hope you guys enjoy it. All right, working on our Comanche today. This is our next shit box giveaway and we've already done a lot to it. Isaiah has done the, the long arm lift kit. So it's got long arm suspension now, four inch lift and we'll clear 32s just nice and look wonderful. So that's done. We've got our engine out. It's down at the machine shop as well. And Sterling's doing interior, working on interior stuff. He's done carpet already, getting all, clean up all of our trim, and then we're putting in seat belts today from Retro Belts. We got some nice, like light blue seat belts. Those will go in today. Working on ripping out all of our air conditioning as well. So yeah. So, how do you feel about it, Stir? It's coming together. Yeah, she's looking nice. It's looking real good, nice and soft. They have that here working on. So we got some Dana. We got a, a wide track axle Dana 44 and a Dana 60 out of a J20. This is going in our blue wide track wagoneer it's got narrow track axles so but yeah these are gonna be much 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 better than the narrow track 44s that are on that truck now our headliner in getting our all our blue trim back in she's looking nice working on this side oh we got our new seat belts in and then we did four by sixes down here some five and a quarters up here so she's gonna sound nice and then retro sound sent us a big old care package here we got ourselves a freaking quadraphonic amp little baby amp it's like an intermediary these are really cool so this will just power our door speakers and we've got a sub to go behind the seat as well it's gonna freaking be absolutely rad so pumped on that we're gonna make our gauge cluster because it is in such good shape look at this thing it looks brand freaking new we're making this thing super bright now
All right, killer day on the old Comanche here. Freaking ripped out the whole entirety of the old AC box or heater box. What a nightmare that was. So now we're just planning kind of where our AC, our new AC from Vintage Air is gonna go. We're thinking we're gonna keep it as far tucked over in the middle as we can to give us plenty of space over here to make our AC lines on the way out. Another issue is these Jeep vents had little one inch hose. So gotta figure out how to reduce down to that size. But this was a pain in the butt. We had to pull this dash all the way out. It was out of the truck today. And uh, our steering column still hanging down low over there. But yeah, it was hanging, it was, it was all the way out and, and we still haven't put it all back in. We're not gonna, just gonna leave it hanging like that for now. But yeah, we're uh, glad that that's out. Now we can start marking up and, and, and mocking everything and marking our holes and doing all that whatnot. And then, you know, we can start putting all our trim back together here soon. But you know, this is a, uh, this truck isn't coming up uh, anytime soon. We're just kind of working on this while we're while we're waiting on the Suburban. So uh, once the Suburban comes back, we'll, we'll push this back out, but it's just good filler work for the time being. But uh, yeah, we're excited to get that Suburban in. But we've already got our little plans laid out for our subwoofer, our amplifier, everything like that as well. So it's gonna be pretty nice. But yeah, pumped on it, looking pretty good. We're doing subwoofer today. Putting in our little sub, uh, rib nut in the back to the back of the cab, running all our wiring nice and neat up behind the dash. Luckily we already have this dash waste for the AC. So we run all of our nice wires down here. And over there's where we're gonna put our other amplifier for the other speakers, so that'll be nice too. So it's gonna look real good to clean up in here, but you know, and then we can put our interior back together and and uh, start putting our bed sheet back in. It's gonna be sweet. Got our steering wheel, factory wheel. This is crazy. This is in such good shape. Factory wheel. Still needs putting in a new, new horn canceller, or uh, not turn signal canceller, and horn switch. The factory horn button, and it's still being polished up like the little Jeep thing. But it, but what were you saying about it, Stir? About the it's such soft plastic that it scratches with any rag unless it's like super plushy really high gsm rag yeah like instant scratch on these things so we're probably gonna have to vinyl wrap this or something in clear bra so it doesn't scratch up but because now right now it's like a mirror finish so that's nice but our interior is coming together all of our subwoofer wiring is all hidden now getting all our trim in we can we'll be done trimming this baby out today i'm pumped this is turning out to be a sweet blue little truck what do you think stir it's gonna look amazing. This is yeah. no shoebox. Yeah, she's comfy. She's comfy. Nice. Loving it. Give you a quick update here on the old Comanche. Got freaking real wheels and tires on. Fitment is great. Little 31 inch Patagonia XTs. Two inch spacer in the rear. We'll run a one inch spacer up front just to make it look nice. But she's looking good. Look at these little guys. They turned out great. Got our center caps all polished up and everything good to go for those as well. They're looking mad. Uh, I think I showed you this, but our block is done, waiting on our head from the machine shop. And uh, then we can put our engine back in. So she's looking nice too. Right, we are on SEMA crunch time. Uh, Milestar, our tire sponsor, we love them. They're great, but they hit me up like a week ago and they're like, hey, we need some trucks to bring to SEMA. So we're like, bring it on. So they sent us a bunch of wheels and tires, getting stuff ready. So they're taking our blue Wagoneer, our wide track Wagoneer. Uh, it's up on the lift, uh, had a little power steering leak, uh, leaking out of our box. This has a redhead steering box on it but it was leaking out. So we pulled the box out, go get that fixed really quickly. And then putting on our new wheels and tires. So these are freaking rad. These are uh, these are black Rhino axles. And then we powder coated them white to match the white on the truck with Milestar's new AT Pros. So these are rad. Uh, it's a bigger wheel than I'm normally accustomed to on a classic truck. I normally like to like double the wheel size with the tire size. So like a 17 inch wheel, 35 inch tires. But these are 20s on 35, so still looks cool. Still will look really cool up on the truck. But you know, it's exciting, go to SEMA. The other thing we're doing for him is they're taking our green 64, but he wanted to put some big old 42s up on it. So we got 42s on this bad boy. These are humongous, dude. Like, check how tall, tall these freaking things are. They're enormous. So big old 42s. Uh, we're just gonna change the color of the faux beadlock ring here um, with some Plasti Dip. As ghetto as that sounds, it's gonna look nice. We got a new, like a Plasti Dip supplier that we found here in Las Vegas who makes their own dip. So. Really excited about that too. So big old 42s, that's going on the green truck. And uh, it's just SEMA crunch because SEMA is in like three days and they just, we're just getting tired and freaking making it happen. So that's fun. A lot of good stuff here. All right, 64 is done also. Look at how freaking great this thing looks, man. Holy crap, big old 42s. These are true 42s as well. And actually 42 inches tall. They look great truck just has absolute toyish proportions it was always meant to be on tall tires like this 38s just got swallowed underneath it so it looks freaking so good 
on these big boys. And then the the uh, the plastic dip. I shouldn't call it plastic dip. It's rubberized coating by rail, and it is so great. What a great product, honestly. Came out so nice. So stoked about how these turned out. Truck just looks absolutely wicked. Exactly how we designed it. Big, tall, squatty, short. Awesome. We're out here uh, getting ready for our SEMA cruise. We do this every year. Uh, we haven't done it the last two years because of COVID, but uh, we're back now. And so we do the SEMA cruise with a bunch of reporters and people in the automotive industry who are from Europe. They come in, Jerome and Phil are the guys who kind of put it all together and they're good friends of ours. And uh, we just made friends with them over the years. And so we're getting all our trucks pulled out to the street. We've got lunch for after we do this cruise, but it's gonna be fun. We're gonna cruise around Red Rock and go see um, one of the little national parks out here and drive, everyone will have a chance to drive, the, drive these trucks. It's a fun break from SEMA as they're walking around looking at cars all day long to actually be able to drive something. So we'll finish pulling them out and get all ready. All right, uh, there's our SEMA cruise. It was a blast, guys, just to take off. It's fun to do that, fun to get the trucks out and just go for go for a drive. We also saw like some of the Max Lighter Bronco guys out and about too, which was pretty cool. Just got our other SEMA trucks back from Milestar. They, drove, they came up and dropped those off too. So we'll get everything put back away in their tents, back nice and secure, and just, just another day, a lot of fun. And uh, thanks for checking out this video. Um, this is something new that we're trying out, we're just, this vlog style of video. We do so much different things every single day at the shop that it's, it's kind of impossible to just make one video, so instead, we just put it all together. So thanks for watching this and check us out on the next one. See ya.